Every 30 seconds, a person falls victim to human trafficking. The United Nations estimates 6 to 8 million people are trafficked across international borders each year. Only 1% is ever rescued. นะครับแล้วก็ 25% NGO workers tell us that they've rescued many people who were trafficked on our flights. It could have been somebody just on your flight and it could have been somebody sitting next to you. And more disturbingly, we find more children being sold now. I was on duty at the check-in counter when a couple approached to check in with the boy. He was crying non-stop and he kept pushing the couple away. Something told me that it wasn't right. So I called in security who brought the couple aside for questioning. Later I found out that this boy was a victim of human trafficking. I couldn't imagine what would have happened if I wasn't there doing my part. Saat itu saya sedang menyajikan makanan di pesawat dan melihat seorang gadis yang terlihat sangat ketakutan. Dia duduk di sebelah seorang pria ketika gadis itu ke toilet. Saat keluar dari toilet, dia langsung menangis. Pria tersebut datang dan memaksanya untuk kembali ke tempat duduk. Seketika saya tahu bahwa ada yang tidak benar. Saya lantas mencoba untuk menjaganya agar tetap bersama kami dan lapor ke kapten yang lantas meminta pada bantuan petugas darat. Perasaan saya benar, pria tersebut mencoba untuk menyelidikannya. We playing our part in two ways. One, um, making sure that all of the All-Stars can spot um, elements of human trafficking. And second, I think we're a very powerful brand. And so through our media, through your Facebook, through our social outlets, we can let people know about human trafficking. So please put your 150% effort into this. So we got to stand up and be counted and uh, make a difference. Thanks a lot.